the 14 years old Morty de Chassa is one of the many young Ethiopians who lost their sight due to cornea blindness. Recent studies ascertain that there are over 1 million visually impaired people across Ethiopia and more than 300,000 of them are victims of cornea blindness. A cornea is a front, circular and transparent part of an eye with 11 to 12 mm diameter. When this part of the eye gets scared, a person is said to be suffering from cornea blindness on condition that other parts of the eye are healthy and well-functioning. The reporter of this program approached Moti de Chaza at the Eye Bank of Ethiopia located on the premises of Menelik, the second hospital. Moti is going to get his cornea transplanted by Dr. Menena Yale, one of the six Ethiopian surgeons who perform cornea transplantation. I am here to get my eye cured through surgical operation. I faced lots of problems. I had difficulties to read from notebooks. I often fell down during playing with my friends. I have to copy lessons at schools from my friend because I cannot see what is written on the blackboard. He has been suffering from the eye ill starting from his age of five. Since then, his vision declined. I took him to different hospitals, but no avail. He cannot see completely when darkness falls. Established in 2003 with tripartite agreement of the Ministry of Health, Obis International Ethiopia, and Region 14 Health Bureau, the Eye Bank of Ethiopia is engaged in the collection and distribution of corneas to the society. Accredited by the Eye and Tissue Bank of International Federation, the Eye Bank of Ethiopia's commission, loads of activities ranging from recovering corneas from dead persons who pledge their corneas before death to restoring of the sight of those persons suffering from cornea blindness. The capacity of cornea and external eye surgeon, medical director of the eye bank, Dr. Menon Chains, desist corneas of blind with healthy and clean corneas. First, she speaks causes of cornea blindness. The cornea is affected by uh, so many uh, uh, causes. Uh, the most common uh, cause in our country, according to the study which was done in 2006-2007, uh, is uh, mostly infection, uh, the most important uh, being trachoma. Trachoma, as you know, is very common in our country. It's the leading cause of blindness in our country. And if not uh, treated properly, it can lead to uh, corneal opacity, which eventually leads to uh, blindness. So infection in general is the commonest cause. Then uh, the other common cause would be for us uh, trauma. And there is also corneal opacity related to some other uh, diseases, like, for example, uh, vitamin A deficiency is also one other common cause in our country. A national survey conducted in 2006 and 7 revealed that trachoma is the leading cause of cornea blindness in Ethiopia. As to Dr. Menon, most infections, including trachoma, can be prevented by having good hygiene and environmental sanitation. As an infection, a cornea can also be scared from work-related trauma, with such as exposure to flying piece of natal and wood. Hence, Dr. Menon advises technicians like welders to use protective eyewear as they perform their work. With the support of different partners, stakeholders, the Ministry of Health is trying to establish a, 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 a corneal donation for those people who are being affected. Uh, you know, the, the problem with cornea is it's not, you know, uh, unless you replace it, it will not be functioning. It's not easily treatable the problem. So the solution is, you know, people uh, 
should donate a corner whenever uh, they die. After officially launched in 2003, many individuals have pledged their corneas to the bank, and the bank has so far received the consent of more than 7,000 individuals who are willing to donate their corneas upon their death. The process of acquiring corneas remains to be difficult for the iBank due to various problems. The process uh, of getting a single cornea is very long because when it starts from uh, plagiars, you need to have plagiars of uh, cornea. Then once you get your plagiars, they are registered, they have their uh, IDs, and then uh, when those people die, uh, because everybody is informed when they have their IDs, they are told to inform their families, they have their IDs with them in case anything happens to them, whoever gets uh, that body knows that they are plagiars. The iBank distributes IDs to individuals who pledge their corneas after death, since ID immediate family members of the dead or health professionals notify the iBank about the passing away of the pledger. Then technicians of the iBank procure the cornea from the dead body of the pledger as quickly as possible. After it's recovered, the cornea will be tested that it is 100% free from any transmittable disease, and the testing is carried out with the assistance of high-tech medical machines and equipment in the laboratory of the iBank. In order to procure a cornea, there are several uh, aseptic techniques that they have to follow. And besides procuring the cornea, they have also to take a blood sample from the donor uh, in order to make sure that the donor is free of uh, transmissible uh, diseases like uh, HIV, uh, syphilis, uh, hepatitis B and C because we don't want to uh, transmit those infections to whoever is uh, getting those corneas. And then, uh, as I said, they will follow aseptic techniques. They have to clean the donor's uh, eye, the ocular surface, and then uh, they will just take only uh, 14 uh, millimeter tissue from the eye. Uh, when we talk about procurement, it's not the whole globe that we are taking. We are taking just uh, 14 millimeter tissue. I'm saying this because so many people, when we ask them to donate their eyes, they will get scared very much. They will see, they will imagine their eyes being taken out and then it becomes very scary to them. The recovered tissue will be placed in preservative chemical called Optizol. As to Dr. Manin, Optizol keeps the cornea suitable for transplantation for up to 14 days. Once we make sure that that sample is free, we will just examine this cornea again under another uh, microscope, which will enable us to see how much fit this tissue would be to the recipient. Okay. Before transplanting it, we have to see that the cornea is really clear, that it's free of any disease, that it has adequate number of cells to keep it uh, pumping and live in the recipient. The Ethiopian Eye Bank provides cornea tissue for transplantation services in Makale, Gonda, Hawass and Addis Ababa. Recovered corneas have varying qualities regardless of age differences. Regarding the quality of the cornea, uh, there is a standard uh, where we make sure that the number of cells we have in the cornea is adequate to be transplanted. And as I have said, the cornea has to be clear. It should have no disease process going on. That's We make sure that it's free of any uh, opacity or disease process before we say that it's fit for transplantation. So every tissue that is distributed is free of any pathology. We make sure that before we distribute it. The bank makes use of corneas recovered from dead persons with age limit between 5 years to 70 years old Corneas of dead persons whose age jumps over 70 years can also be used as long as it meets the desired quality. Since its inception in 2003, the bank has managed to provide corneas for 762 individuals and helped them to regain their sides. One of them is Moti de Chasa. Before I entered into the operation room, 
I was somehow frightened. But once the operation is started, it was good. I felt no pain. The operation took two hours. When goose was removed from eye, I was able to see very clearly. Unlike the past, I had no problem to see in harm and be able to read direct from the blackboard. After he got transplantation, he sees well. It is nice. Now he can read well. I want to thank the government and staff of the iBank. Before the iBank came into existence, Ethiopians with cornea blindness were required to go abroad and used to spend up to 3,000 US dollars to get one cornea from donors in other countries. Importing corneas was expensive and unaffordable. At the beginning of the bank was providing the service for free. Nowadays, however, patients are required to cover a small portion of the processing fee. According to Petros Kidane, acting medical director with the ministry, the iBank is working with various stakeholders to address its range of problems, including budget constraints. We are working as uh, hand in gloves with Absaba, city administrative health bureaus, with hospital and with other donors, with partners. So it's because of this collaboration that this is becoming uh, a real uh, uh, activity in Ethiopia. So I think we need, though we need to go strengthen, though we are facing problems on different uh, uh, directions, but still we are working together. And the ministry is supporting, as well as partners are supporting. The Addis Ababa Health Bureau is also supporting for this uh, bank. So I can say that uh, we are in a good position, but a lot has to be done. When you compare with the other health service, health care services. In a country like Ethiopia, where citizens provide due respect to deceased persons, it's difficult to procure corneas from a dead person with the consent of their family members. Hence, intensive promotion will be needed to collect as many corneas as possible before the corneas of the dead get buried. We need to promote it and we need to aware the people, not only using the medias, but different other means. It's like we have public forum whenever we conduct meeting on hospital services, we have public forums. We need to aware them, we need to produce that, uh, uh, such sort of awareness for the people as well. And the other is, you know, it's not only the public that's, uh, that's having shortage of awareness on this service. Even the health professionals should be aware of that. They may have the awareness that such types of intervention could be done, but they have to know that Ethiopia is uh, just working on it and it's providing service as well. Now Moti has got a clean and a healthy cornea. Not only his sights are restored, but also his health and happiness. I'm very happy. I'm thankful to the doctors here. I had a vision to be an engineer. Now, I have changed my mind. Rather, I want to be ophthalmologist and cure those people suffering from eye illness.